you being attacked on Syria, just two points on that. I mean, we were both harshly attacked, but the volume of attacks was much more severe and serious like two years ago or so when, and now that the regime change campaign has failed, Syria finds itself under these brutal crushing sanctions, sanctions. called the Caesar sanctions, which were based on an intelligence deception around this so-called defector named Caesar. I've covered it at the gray zone if anyone's interested. And people are starving. There are bread lines. The U.S. is occupying a part of northeastern Syria where the wheat fields that are the breadbasket of Syria are located and the oil fields, which provide revenue to Syria, are located. And they're there to starve Syrians. The outgoing U.S. liaison handling Syria, James Jeffrey, he said that the goal was to destroy the Syrian economy. He went on Twitter last week and boasted that the Syrian pound is basically worthless compared to the dollar. I mean, this is like an Eichmann level war criminal boasting on Twitter of a crime. And Syrians are having to smuggle in medical supplies, Syrian doctors, in order to keep their hospitals up and running, cancer drugs, oncology wards are having trouble getting chemotherapy, uh, dialysis machines are broken. It's falling into a state of uh, human destitution thanks to these sanctions which Congress approved without a second thought. And where are the people who are attacking you in the name of the Syrian people? They would always say, you are disrespecting right. the Syrian people. You hate the Syrian people. Yeah. Well, now that, the, now that they've you know, accomplished their goal of punishing Syria, they don't seem to speak about the Syrian people who are suffering from their very policy anymore. And they damn sure aren't calling for U.S. troops to be removed. They don't say hands off Syria. So uh, the hypocrisy and moral fraudulence of these regime change trolls who are attacking us for years is fully exposed now. But and, it won't. But it won't make, yeah. make a difference it, it, because most people don't follow close enough to know that they're what what's going on. They don't know what Bellingcat is. They don't know that Reuters and BBC is in bed with fucking mili military industrial complex and doing their. They don't really actually know. They just know that they just. I think. Oh, they got things wrong. That's what they well, think. Why don't they know? I mean, the reason they don't know because is that we, our re our regime media refuses to report it, and those when we do. We get attacked That's right. or get scare labels. That's 60 right. Minutes did this completely bogus piece uh, last Sunday on Caesar, the so-called defector. Uh, he's always wa walking around in a blue suit. He's based in the D.C. area. You can't see his face, can't know who he is. And he's sitting there next to a guy named Waz Mustafa. He's a defector from where? A defector from, from Syria. Syria? Okay. They say, they, what they say is that Caesar is his code name. And that he was a military photographer who photographed all of these corpses of people who had been tortured to death. Now, first of all, that's false and bogus because the so-called Caesar files contain thousands of photos from morgues early on in the proxy war. And even according to Human Rights Watch, the State Department force multiplier run by you know, regime change fanatic Ken Roth, even according to their report on the Caesar photos, at least 50% of those photos showed casualties on the government side of people and soldiers who were killed by the very so-called moderate rebels that the U.S. was backing. So it actually, the photos, the Caesar files actually show that the opposition was extremely violent. In Syria. And and so, so the people Syria. trying so to they, overthrow Assad were were crazy violent. The people people don't know that the people trying to overthrow Assad was ISIS and Al Nusra and Al Qaeda and people like that. Right. So they bring this guy out named Caesar. We never know who he is. He's brought out in a secret operation through Al Qaeda affiliated rebels who smuggle him out. Um, the Qatari government, the government of the permanent monarchy of Qatar takes the so-called file and analyzes it. They basically pay a bunch of British lawyers to quote unquote verify it, like Jeffrey Nice, who helped prosecute Milosevic. Then they bring him over to the US. It's a complete intelligence operation. He testifies before Congress. They put up like seven of the photos that show dead people. It looks horrible, for leaving out the full context. And his translator, who appeared next to him 
on this 60 Minutes report is Moaz Mustafa. Now, this name might not be familiar to you, but if you see his face, it will, because he's the person who also brought John McCain into his notorious secret trip to Syria yeah. and is standing next to him and a bunch of rebel kidnappers who had been exposed for kidnapping Shia pilgrims. This guy is basically, uh, as far as I can tell, uh, a, a U.S. regime change lobbyist, U.S. agent who's just running around promoting regime change and he's appearing on 60 Minutes and none of this context is provided to the U.S. public. They're basically being sold a commercial yeah. for the CIA Yeah. and like none of the producers or any of the journalists who worked on this, none of them will even dare question it or look at the report I did and say, oh, wait a minute, what am I getting involved in here? Is this what I'm, what I'm, what they're actually doing is they are helping to convince the public that these sanctions, which are killing and starving and depriving millions of average Syrians are necessary. That was the point of that. And so we're, it's left up to us to provide the context and the facts and the history. And when we do it, we become threatening to the narrative and they smear us when as 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 like in you know foreign intelligence agents when the reality is they are actually uh reciting and taking dictation from literal intelligence agents yes yeah it's a it's an amazing I, I, honest it's amazing to be a part of it and to realize that this kind of stuff is how has, has always gone on and I uncovered yeah. how they sold the first Iraq war to the United States during my lifetime. A complete fabrication. They had people t testifying in front of Congress saying that babies were being pulled out of incubators and left on the ground to die and girls were crying. And that was all made up. It was all made up. And no one ever went to jail for that. Nobody ever got invested. There wasn't even an investigation. Same thing yeah. with the same thing with 9-11. They had a 9-11 investigation where the president got to fucking <laughs> and testify in secret off the record behind not under oath and, and behind closed doors with his buddy sitting next to him. I mean, it's just, it's just nuts. We never have an investigation about anything. We get we do war crimes and nobody gets Anyway, but they impeached the president. They impeached Donald Trump like that, but they couldn't uh, they couldn't do an impeachment of Donald of, of George Bush for war crimes or for an illegal war or for Dick Cheney or for ordering a torture program for actual war crimes. You don't get impeached. You get impeached for, you know, I don't know what what they said that it was for. But anyway, let's let, let's move on to it. We could talk all day about this. It's Max, really honest to God, you cannot overstate the level of corruption, criminality, complete uh, journalistic malfeasance that's taken place in Western media, right? I, I'm, I'm actually constantly amazed. I mean, just coming across these documents confirmed so much of what we already thought and understood. But when you see it in hard detail, it doesn't fail to shock. I, I, I'm still shocked. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.